Welcome to the demonstration of NetSuite inventory management capabilities. We're going to start here in an inventory manager role. NetSuite is set up as a role-based platform. So here you can see we're in an inventory manager role with a dashboard that reflects the interests of an inventory manager, as well as permissions and restrictions granted to this role that would be appropriate for an inventory manager. So one of the big challenges that many inventory managers face is just a lack of visibility into your inventory details by product for both physical and virtual locations. So NetSuite gives you a variety of tools uh, in order to provide this visibility including out-of-the-box reports and simple queries that we call save searches. So if we look at our dashboard here, we can scroll down past our key performance indicators and see some of these save searches on our dashboard that are going to provide that visibility right off the bat. So we can search, uh, search up our items by location here. Uh, we could look at our 3PL location or Amazon locations or our physical store locations here and see exactly um, what we've got on hand, what we've got committed to any open sales orders uh, resulting in what we've got available to sell, and then also visibility into what we've got uh, outstanding that we're expecting to receive from any purchase orders that we've placed. Now, if we need more detailed information on any of these items, we can go ahead and drill into the item master record here. So I'm just going to click on this little eyeball icon here to drill into the item master for this puffy jacket here. So I can see all of my uh, standard information up top here, including the units of measure, uh, how I want to purchase stock and sell this item, the classification of the item. And then as I scroll down into the inventory and purchasing tab here, I've got a, uh, a lot more information around the purchasing and inventory of this item, including the ability to track landed costs to get even more accurate margin information there. I can configure it as a dropship item if I want to have this shipped directly from my vendors to my customers. And then I can configure the replenishment method I want to use. Here we're going to use reorder points where we can automate that process of placing orders for additional inventory to make sure that we're placing those orders at the right time. And we'll get back into that here in a little bit. If we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see all the detailed information by location, quantity on hand, value of the inventory, our reorder points, preferred stock levels, uh, safety stock levels, if we want to add that as well. Now with that, let's go ahead and see some of the other information on the item master record. If we scroll up here, we can go to our sales and pricing tab, where we've got a number of price levels configured here with default discounts. And then as we go over to the right here, we can see uh, our quantity pricing tiers as we go up in, in quantity there. We've also got an item 360 tab here. I won't go through all of these, but suffice it to say, any information that you could want to know about this item is stored here on the item master record. And then from here, this information can be pushed out to your various endpoints, including your e-commerce platform, your point of sale software, uh, any, any other platforms that you may be selling on, such as Amazon or eBay or Walmart.com. So you can store all of this information and maintain it all uh, in one place here in NetSuite and then pushed out to your various endpoints. So with that, let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard and see some of the other things that we can do with our item and inventory information in NetSuite. If I scroll down here a little further, I see I've got a serialized transaction search here, so I can uh, store serialized information and lot number information in NetSuite. I can search on that specific serial number and see all of the transactions associated with this particular serialized item. Here we've got a, a PO, a sales order, a return authorization. One of the other challenges that many retailers face is the ability to be able to configure items uh, as they move forward without any coding, to be able to add custom fields to capture information that might not be uh, initially there. So for example, if I go back into that item master record, let's say I want to uh, configure a new field on this record 
where I can capture whether or not the item is in closeout status. I can literally just name it. I'm just going to call this closeout. I could provide a description for this custom field if I wanted. And I can select what type of field I want this to be. In this case, I just want it to be a checkbox so I can mark it close out or not. And then I just tell it where I want that custom field to be stored on this record. And with that, I can save that. And then I'll be able to see that new field on the item master record and all of my other item records. So here I've now got a close out box that I can uh, mark this item as, close, as a close out item or not. Let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard. And from here, let's address another challenge that uh, many retailers face uh, with the amount of competition that's out there in the marketplace. Usually you're looking at pretty thin margins uh, for a retail business. And NetSuite gives you the tools to really identify opportunities on both the revenue and expense side in order to improve those margins. So let's start on the revenue side with some inventory reporting that's really gonna help you understand where you're making money uh, on your items. So we've got a turnover by category report here where you're gonna be able to see by category and subcategory and even drill right down to the item level if you want here to be able to see exactly what your turnover rate is uh, for those different categories and subcategories and then make the decisions that you need in order to speed those turns. Additionally, item profitability by category and by subcategory where you're gonna be able to see total costs, total revenues, and ultimately gross profit percentage and dollars by those different categories. So here I'm seeing I'm doing pretty well in jackets, but not so well in shirts. So I probably need to address my pricing levels for those different categories. But NetSuite provides you that visibility to be able to make those decisions quickly and effectively. On the expense side, again, if we go back to our dashboard, we've got a link into all of our vendor information here. So I've got a vendor list. Again, I can just go directly into a vendor dashboard here where I can see the overview of everything that I'm doing with this particular vendor that I clicked on here, the prime, uh, primary China vendor, all the uh, key performance indicators for this vendor. So I can see which vendors are really providing me the best uh, prices on my items, the most on-time deliveries, and make sure I've got the information I need to negotiate with each of them. Also, I mentioned earlier the ability to have NetSuite help you with replenishment so that you've got the right amount of inventory at each location on an ongoing basis. So that information that you configure on your item master records is gonna flow through the system and ultimately back here to the dashboard to your reminders portlet to tell you what items you need to be ordering right now. So if I click into that items to order link there, I'm gonna be able to execute on this with just a couple of clicks. And for, for now, I just wanna order my reorder point items here, where it's gonna tell me for that puffy jacket, uh, or the location that I'm looking at. In this case, I'm looking at the uh, Amazon location. What do I have available? Uh, what's my reorder point? What's my preferred stock level? And ultimately, what do I need to order to get back to that preferred stock level here? So it's all queued up for me. I can just hit submit and have NetSuite create those purchase orders for me on the fly. And then, of course, I always have the ability to manually override the quantities that NetSuite is suggesting. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.